In lessons 4.3 and 4.4, we learned how users can invite other users to join them in a low latency or real-time live stream. To invite other users to join them, StreamCat uses Amazon IVS chat to send invites to viewers. In this lesson, we'll learn how this works. As mentioned in lesson 8.1, the broadcaster of a live stream is presented an admin menu next to each chat message that contains actions that can be taken by the broadcaster. This lets a broadcaster delete a message, disconnect a user, and invite a user to join them during a live stream. The invite to stream action invokes a function called invite user to stage. As we learned in earlier lessons, each user in a real-time stream needs a stage participant token. The slash API slash multi-host slash invite endpoint handles generating the token. It also sends a message to that user via Amazon IVS chat room to notify them that they have been invited to join the stream. The chat event is sent via the send chat event method of the chat room service. This sends a custom event called streamcat multi-host invite to all users who are connected to the chat room. The chat room listens for this event and displays a toast notification to the intended user. The toast notification contains a link that the invited user can click to join the stream. Since the user has a valid stage participant token, they are granted access to join the live stream. In this lesson, we learned how the StreamCat application allows broadcasters to invite chat users to join a live stream. In the next lesson, we'll look at retrieving and displaying viewer accounts for a live stream.